In section 7.4, we've got a couple of examples uh, to do, but I just wanted to talk about, just before we get to the examples, I wanted to talk about, uh, I think it's slide four. Um, this is a little bit small, but um, if you look at slide four, it mentions this, this funny definition. It says uh, electric potential, or is that up here? Electric potential, which is voltage. Um, electric potential is um, the work done to move a positive test unit charge from infinity to a given point. Uh, or you could say the work per unit charge to move something from infinity to a given point. I just wanted to talk that through just quickly. So if I look at this, if I've got a, a big charged particle right here, let's say a big positive charge, the green one's not going to move, okay? It's just sitting there. But I've got this little blue charge over here, another positive charge, and I actually want to push it in and bring it from this location to into here. What we're saying in this definition is, let's imagine that this location is, is infinity. It's huge. It's a long, long distance away. So far away that there's really no force, no appreciable force between these two. Okay, so RA is infinity. That's this from infinity. Um, I'm going to grab onto this thing and I'm going to push it into here. Um, the work that I do is, you could say it's force times distance or FD cos theta. The problem is the force is going to be constantly changing. If you think of Coulomb's law, as I bring this closer and closer, F is K, Q1, Q2 over R squared. As R changes, force changes. This is a variable force. I can't use work as force times distance. I need calculus. I can do it. I just need calculus. We don't have that yet. Our other definition for work is work is equal to a change in energy. The type of energy we're talking about is electric potential energy. Okay, so electric potential energy is K, Q1, Q2 over R, no squared. Okay, so change in electric potential energy is electric potential energy at location B minus the initial electric potential uh, energy at location A. We just finished talking about how RA is infinity. If RA is infinity, the denominator, if the denominator is huge, then the value of this fraction goes to zero. Okay, so since RA is infinity, this fraction is gone. This one is not gone, I'm some regular distance away. But I've got a unit test charge, so that Q right there is equal to 1. You know in your math class you talk about a unit circle has a radius of 1. A unit charge has a, a charge of 1 Coulomb. Uh, that 1 right there, 1 times anything, is just the number, so we can kind of drop that Q1, and we can say right here, that is the uh, voltage is what people often say, or the electric potential is the, the real phrase for it. The electric potential is equal to... Um, the work done to move it from infinity to here. Sometimes people say, well, what if this charge here is not one? No problem. Rather than cancel this out and assume it's one, we could bring it down under here. So we could say, if I bring it down right here over Q1, you could say electric potential is the work done per unit charge. So whatever the value of that charge is, it can just go at the bottom. I don't want you to get too bogged down in this. Normally, um, when we do this in class, we spend a fair bit of time talking about it. Uh, you can ask me at this week's Google Meet um, if you have a question about it, but I don't wanna to get too bogged down in it. Um, we're trying to just do kind of an overview here to, uh, to make sure that you've been exposed to this stuff. Let's quickly run through these examples. I don't wanna make this video too long. Uh, electric potential, electric potential is KQ over R. Um, so we're talking about electric potential this distance away from this charge. Just so maybe you can picture what's going on, imagine this charge right here is this guy, Q. The distance away, let's say right here, 0 0.25 meters. Here's what we're talking about. If I've got this charge and I'm this far away, uh, what's the electric potential uh, at that location? So that just means, let's sub into this guy. 9 times 10 to the 9, that's the Coulomb's constant. The charge, it's not. I'm not moving a charge here. Um, it, um, it, there's nothing actually here. So the charge that I'm talking about is this guy. Uh, the distance away, 0 0.25 meters. Uh, I work those numbers out and I get, let's see, I've got this somewhere, 209, oh yeah, 209,000 volts. Uh, or I think I said in the slide, the answer is approximately 209 kilovolts. Might actually be an exact answer, but uh, but that's fine. For um, the second question, uh, I'll start off with this one here, but we'll move it up in a sec. We want to know how much work is done in moving this thing. 
So if we're going to talk about how much work is done there, uh, let's let's draw this thing again to go with that, what I had before. Uh, we're going to move this charge uh, around near this fixed charge. So I'm going to call this guy Q2. This is going to be my fixed charge. It's, it's imagine it. It's the big charge. Okay, so this is gonna look, uh, where was that diagram? The one we were just talking through, it's gonna be like this. This is this guy over here. It doesn't actually matter which one's Q1 and Q2, but uh, since I called it Q2 on the other one, this guy is fixed in place. He can't move, that's what this fixed means. I've got this little charge, and I'm gonna start off way out here. So let's imagine here's the distance, uh, 40 centimeters. Okay, so way out here is 40. I'm gonna move it from here to here, 20 centimeters. Okay, so I'm starting off with this little charge, let's call it charge one. Over here, it's three times 10 to the minus seven coulombs. I'm gonna like grab this guy and I'm gonna force it to move over here. Okay, so I'm moving it in this direction. Uh, not a very straight line, it actually doesn't matter. I could move it in whatever wonky path. All that matters is where did it start and where does it end? It's kind of like a displacement. Uh, how much work is done? There's a couple of ways that we could look at this thing. We know that work is um, uh, change in uh, electric potential energy. Okay, so K, let's do this, K, Q1, Q2 over R final. Let's call this R2. This guy's R1. Okay, so R2, not squared, just R2, minus K, Q1, Q2 over R1. Okay, work is change in energy. There's energy final minus energy initial. We can just go ahead and sub numbers in here. Um, I just want you to notice a couple things though. K is constant. Q1, it's the same Q1, whether it's here or here. Q2 is just, it's just a fixed charge. It's just sitting there. Those things are all constants. So we could say um, K, Q1, Q2, we could factor that out, and what we're left with on top here is just one over R2, and here one over R1. Okay, you don't have to do this. We could have just sub numbers in there, um, but I'll do it this way. K, nine times 10 to the nine. Uh, Q1, we said was this one. Again, it doesn't really matter here. You can multiply, whoops, it's 3.0 times 10 to the minus seven. Uh, you can multiply in any order. Um, so it doesn't really matter which one comes first. Okay, I'm gonna put big square brackets here. This is one over R2, uh, R2 is this guy, so one over 0 0.2 minus one over R1. R1 is that guy, 0 0.4 meters. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and work that out. And uh, I did somewhere. And, oh, 0 0.32, there it is, 0 0.32 joules. Uh, I don't have the unrounded value, but that's how much work we do uh, to move this thing. One other quick thing, uh, if I look at this, if I, so there's my answer, I'm done, but I just wanted to, to note this as well. If I come from this line here, uh, if I come over here, I could also say this. Um, I'm gonna leave K, which one am I gonna, I, I'm gonna factor one of the Qs. Again, it doesn't really matter, they're both the same. Uh, let's factor Q1 out. So it is Q1, and then in brackets, I'm gonna be left with K uh, Q2 over R2 minus K Q1 over R, uh, sorry, K Q2. I took the Q2 out uh, over R1. This thing right here, if you look at this equation up at the top, right there, uh, K Q over R is V. That's voltage or electric potential. We're talking about charge two. This is the potential at position two minus the potential at position one. So work really is Q1 voltage two minus voltage one or potential two minus potential one. That is Q delta V. You will see this version sometimes as well. So work is change in energy. Work is also Q delta V. Sometimes you'll see that. I just wanted you to uh, notice that as you go through the work.